G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve here with another video and today I wanted to make a tutorial uh, based on popular request for my draw program. So what I've done to help with that tutorial is make a cross section of the I guess one pixel's journey from the shift registers at the back to the pixel on the screen. Um, one, for, one note I'd like to make before we begin is when I came back to this map after putting it up for download, making the video, whatever, this was missing. There was no block there. So if you've downloaded this map and there was no block there, I know. <laughs> just uh, place a block, I guess. Um, we basically, all that would have done is just disable this bottom pixel here, this bottom corner, uh, which isn't obviously something I'd like it to do, but I had no idea it had been like that. So... Anyway, I uh, won't go into that, I just wanted to let you guys know that that was the case. So, uh, yeah, so to to break it down, we'll go one section at a time, one lever at a time, and talk about the different things that these things do. So this here is the, uh, we have basically row and column uh, variables, the, the one shift register for row, one for column. So it's like an array, basically. Uh, this one here is for the column. So when this is on, that selects, you know, that selects the column uh, that's being, that's the inputs coming through, and this selects which row. So when both of them are on, that, as you saw, comes on. If not, then it, it's off. It it can't have row or column. It has to have row and column. So it's a basic AND gate here, basically. Um, we have when this signal here is off then this will turn on, turning that off, and so forth. So this uh, this piston here is pushed down when the pixel is off, and that torch there is turned off when the pixel is off. So let's turn the pixel on again, and we can see that you know, that's now on. So the pixel, wherever the pixel is, it's always going to be on, regardless of if it's stored or not, that it's going to be on. Um, also, I know something I didn't go into just too much just, just then, was this lever here. Now this is a function I haven't added to it just yet. Uh, I do plan on adding a printer to my drawing program thing. I'm going to compact it a little bit more and then add a, a printer function. Um, probably also try and tweak the speed, but it uh, basically disables the, the pixel. So yeah, it's not a, a huge deal. It just um, for printing, for example, um, since I'm going to be drawing my printing area from about here-ish, there's a bit more room there between the, these two, um, I plan on adding, pulling the printing function, uh, I guess, signals from here, from yeah, this part of the redstone, um, and yeah, so, anyway, so when the pixel is on, as you notice, this is all off, uh, this allows us to store, this bottom function here is the store function, so when this pixel is is on, it pulls that piston up, and it allows us to store. Otherwise, every other pixel, this is pushed down. As you can see, uh, one tick pulse will leave that, bolt, that uh, block there, and it keeps the signal on. So even if the pixel turns off, um, or the, not the pixel, the uh, even if the cursor has moved away or gone to a different block, whatever, it's done its own thing, um, this signal remains. And w this here is to turn off and on the pixel or the screen. Turn off the screen or turn on the screen. So, yeah. Now, the easy way to, to clear the pixel, uh, you notice here we can't do that. The cursor has to be back onto that pixel in order to uh, clear the pixel. And then now when we've pulled it off, it's off again. So, yeah, basically... A number of AND gates, um, a few, like a one tick pulse there. It's not an overly complicated procedure. Uh, it just looks a bit complicated when it's all put together like that. Mind you, granted, I haven't added the shift register, but that's not a complicated aspect either, or the functions from here, but otherwise you're looking at the nuts and bolts of the system, um, and I'm pretty sure you can probably figure out the rest. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to make a real simple tutorial. I didn't want to go into um, elaborate block-by-block -block detail because that would be here for hours. Uh, but I think this gives a, a fair, a clear um, idea of how everything is done. Um, like I said, I'm going to be working on this a bit more to try and improve it, to tweak it, uh, to add the printer which I want to add to the side uh, because I'd like to have a printer for this anyway. 
and I think it would look pretty cool <laughs> to have a printer, like to, to draw something, then print it, then draw, then print or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Steve-O, and I will catch you later. See ya. Oh yeah, before you go, um, if you do like this, and don't uh, don't be shy, feel free to to like and subscribe. Um, encourages me to make more stuff, and uh, it helps my stuff to get seen. And you know, being a uh, an aspiring redstoner, that means a lot to me. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.